Hey guys, this is Elegant Mess from Mad Dog Gaming Clan. Uh, today we're going to do a video. Uh, we've got the Lenovo Flex 3. It's an 11.3 inch uh, flipbook. And it's actually my girlfriend. She got it uh, as a secondary that she can take uh, to school. Just a little bit lighter, easier to carry, things like that. And it, it works very well. It's just a little slow. And it comes with a, uh, a 500 gig uh, laptop hard drive in it. So today we're going to upgrade that to an SSD go over the process on how to do so. It has Windows 10 on it and it is a touch screen um, so we'll go over all that and show you how to convert it from uh, you know make the recovery and everything of Windows 10 and transfer that over onto the SSD so we can you know uh, set up the SSD how we want it with trim and everything else. So uh, we'll jump right into this. We'll go over getting the uh, Lenovo apart here and get going. Okay, so here we've got the Lenovo already up and running. So I'll show you what I did in for prep work for this. So um, going from a regular standard hard drive to the SSD, the first thing we're going to do, uh, just go right into Windows, and we're just going to type in recovery. And we should get one of the options, create a recovery drive. Go through, pop up for us. It's going to bring this up and give you create a recovery drive. Now, I'm using an external hard drive for this. You can use a flash drive if you want because obviously uh, this particular Lenovo flipbook does not have a disk drive in it. Um, so you can use a USB flash drive if you want. Just make sure it's at least 16 gigs uh, just because with the Windows 10 recovery options here, if it's not 16, it just won't allow you to do it. So you go through, click next it's going to create the files and then it's going to give you the option of whatever drives you have plugged in to set the backup to. I'm going to cancel this because I've already got it set up on an external drive here. So once that's all done and it, you've got the recovery options created, you're good. So what I'm going to do from here, we're just going to power down the flipbook. Let this shut completely down. Then we're going to start uh, taking it apart to swap out the hard drives here and then go through the setup process. Okay, so from here, now that the Lenovo is powered off, uh, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to go through and there's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws on the bottom. So we're going to go through and we're going to start with that first to get the back panel off. So what I'll do, uh, as usual with, with this, I'll go ahead and I'll probably just speed this up as I go along here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got all the screws out. So from here, what we're going to do on the back edge of it, we're going to start from there. I just, uh, I've just got these little hardened plastic pieces, uh, a lot of times even for like cell phone repair. And we're just going to start from the back edge here. Pull, pop this up, you'll hear it click right up, and then we're going to go forward and just pop it right forward here. Sometimes it's needed, other times it's not. Oh, there it goes. Now obviously you want to be careful with this, I mean the, the screws go back in place to hold it in, but if we can save the snaps, obviously we always want to. And needless to say, Doing this will void your warranty, but that goes with upgrades, so. This one's actually coming off pretty easy. There it goes. So, we've got our back off. And there it is. And all our snaps are good. So, here's our internals here. Obviously, here's our hard drive. Now, with this, I, I didn't think to mention, um, with this, this is a 7 millimeter thickness. So, that is why I got this one in particular. Um, another one that'll work is the Samsung 850. Uh, any, obviously, upgrading to an SSD, that's the whole point of this. Any SSD that is of 7 millimeter thickness will will work with this. So, that's, that's fine. Um, 
So yeah, so with this, we have uh, three retention screws holding the bracket for the hard drive actually in place. So one, two, and three. So once we release those, we can actually get the hard drive out of there and actually physically swap them out here. Um, obviously, if there are any other issues, like the wireless controller, um, power, any, I mean, anything CPU-wise, obviously, is soldered into the board, so that stuff has to be replaced with the full motherboard. But if you do need to get to anything else, keyboard, anything like that, this is when we would be doing that. But with this, we're just doing the hard drive here, so that's fun. Okay, so I figured I'd zoom in a little bit just so you guys can see this, just in case you couldn't get a good view of it, where the uh, screws are that we're going to have to be pulling out here. So it's going to be one, two, and three up top, and those are the retention screws. So we're going to go ahead and get those out of here. And obviously, as I take the screws out, I just leave them stacked in the order in which I got them out. A lot of the times with laptops, they use uh, different size screws in different areas, so it can make things tricky, but it seems with this one, all of them have been the same size, at least for the outer and then the, for the hard drive bracket, they've all been the same. So it looks like how they have the power delivery set up for this is this single cable here, which is a little adapter that snaps in at the end of the hard drive. So, with the SSD here, so they've got a little bracket that actually slips right in and does the SATA and power connectors right to it there. So I'm probably going to have to take this packaging off of that, pull that out, connect it to this, and then insert the new one. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting the sticky stuff off of this first um, so I can get the hard drive out of there. And obviously if I come across any issues doing that, I'll go ahead and pop the, the camera back on here. But I'm going to go ahead and just start just peeling this stuff off, and, uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the, uh, the shielding off of the original hard drive here. And I'll show you what that looks like. And it just has sticky edges on it. And it actually peeled off very easily. So, I will actually use this on the SSD that we're going to put in here. So, I'll give you an idea what that looks like. <laughs> it's just a little plastic shielding. Wraps around it. And the little edges are just sticky so it'll just fold right around it and just fold the edges down around it and that's it so now in regards to let me zoom in here for him actually getting the hard drive out it's pretty straightforward so with it in this position you can just lift it up in this little bracket here so you guys can actually see it. Just hold on to this piece here and it'll come right off. There we go. And as you can see, they match right up. So, what we do from here, they should have the same holes in the sides of them here. Should have the same on each side. So, we can just take the brackets off the side of the original hard drive and just put these right on the SSD. That way, I mean, it would sit in there fine, but obviously, the more secure it can be, the better. And it looks like this is going to work out pretty good. Okay, so here's the last screw for the bracket. And there we go. So, got the brackets back on. New SSD. So we're going to go and just connect the SATA and power connector here. Snaps right in place. Sits right in there. Now, I am going to reuse the shield on this um, just for heat purposes for the SSD because you know, these little things can put off a decent amount of heat. Not the SSD, but the Flexbook itself. So, just for safety reasons, I'm just going to put this right back on because it can't. 
like I said, the sides are just sticky. They'll just stick right back on there. Okay, there we go. Looks like you never even swapped it out, but you will notice a huge difference obviously in the speeds of this. Especially with the boot times and programs and things like that, with multitasking and everything having to load. So we're going to go ahead and just reinsert the tension brackets back into the housing here. And we'll be just about set to, uh, to bring the recovery onto the SSD here. So I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in this, put the backpack on, screws in just like how we took it apart, and uh, we'll pick back up when this is all put together and boot nucker. Okay, so here we go. I've got the uh, external drive with the recovery of Windows 10 from the original hard drive, which I just put back in the SSD box that it came with. So the new SSD is in there, everything's back together, screws are in it, easy peasy. So now that it's plugged in, I'm going to go ahead and just power it on and see if it'll auto boot from the recovery drive or if we're going to have to select it here. Okay. There we go. So it's going to give us the option to boot directly from the external drive. It should just auto detect, should auto detect the Windows 10 recovery. This is the first time actually having to use the Windows 10 recovery. So if this does take a couple of minutes here, I'll go ahead and just uh, edit this out. Alright, let's see what we get. Choose your keyboard layout. US. We're going to reset the PC. Recover from a drive. And we're going to say... Move my files and all personal files and user accounts on the PC will be removed. Any apps, programs that didn't come with the PC. So at this point, we really didn't have much on the PC to begin with. Um, so so that's fine. Uh, she was using it for college, and we only had it a week or two, so no big deal. I've got all the you know external files, so that that's fine. Any of that stuff can be um, saved as well as you know Microsoft all that stuff. So go ahead and cover. And there we go, recovering the PC. Um, from here, I'm just going to let it do its thing, and we'll just pick this back up once it's done here. And so now we're installing Windows. So it looks like we are all set here. So um, regardless, I'm just going to let this go. Um, I'll wrap back up once this is all done, obviously. Um, this will probably take a while. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're pretty much all set here. Alright, so there we go. Uh, we are all set. Windows is uh, ready to set up here. Uh, it's fully installed pretty much at this point, just customizations. Um, the only thing to note, because um, uh, I, I don't know if the camera got this or not, as I, I'll find out when I go through the edit, is when I went through and it finished doing the actual recovery process, uh, it gave a, a TPM uh, option if you want to erase that or not and it's for the if there was any sort of encryption done on it obviously there was none on this computer so that was no issue just hit yes and go through it if you use are using any sort of encryption you would probably know about it obviously um, so you would hit no in the case like that but again I'll find out in editing if that was uh, was caught or not uh, but other than that like I said we are all set obviously thank you guys for watching as always, and uh, you know, please you know like the video if you liked it, and uh, obviously feel free to subscribe if you enjoy the content. And uh, yeah, thanks guys for watching, and I'll catch you next time.